Hi, fourth graders. Welcome to week eight of vocabulary. And by now, your vocab journal must be absolutely bursting because this is the final week in unit one of our vocab journal. So you will be filling in those last pages and those last boxes, which is exciting. Look how much you've learned. So let's get started with the five words for this week. So as usual, we'll have our sentences with an underlined word, which is our word for the week. He began to tremble as he walked into the haunted house. So think about what tremble could mean. It is hard to see the mountains when the sky is hazy. What could hazy mean if it's hard to see the mountains when the sky is hazy? She feels insecure about her dancing. I forgot to underline that. Insecure is the word that should be underlined there. I am constantly coming up with new ideas for stories. What could constantly mean? The article was full of practical tips for becoming a better athlete. Practical. Hmm. So tremble, hazy, insecure, constantly and practical are our five words for this week. The first one, tremble, means to shake uncontrollably. It's a verb, which means it's an action word. It's a doing word, to tremble. And some sentences we might have that might use the word tremble could be, the ground began to tremble as the train rumbled past. So the ground is shaking uncontrollably. I trembled with fear when I thought about the scary movie I watched last night. So trembling can be when you're fearful. It could also just be shaking. <laughs> So tremble is like shaking. Hazy. And this means partially hidden or darkened, which you might have guessed from that first sentence about the view of the mountains um, being dif difficult when the um, sky is hazy. And hazy is an adjective, so it's a describing word. So we would say something is hazy or the sky is hazy or the the clouds were hazy or the view was hazy. And you can see I've got a picture here looking across at a city and you can see it looks kind of partially hidden or darkened. So we would say it was hazy. So the view of the city was hazy because of all the smog. Or it could even be a memory or thinking about something. Your memory might be hazy. So I've put a sentence, her memory of the crash was hazy could partially hidden, couldn't quite remember all of it. Okay. Our next word is insecure. And that means not confident or not secure. And that's an adjective. So it's a describing word. It's describing something else, saying that they're not confident. Or it is not confident. You can see this picture of this face here that's kind of worried and not looking confident at all. So that would be insecure. In a sentence, we might use it, we might say, John always felt insecure when he was meeting new people, so not feeling confident. Or the candidate was insecure about his chances in the election, so he wasn't confident about his chances of winning. Okay. Our next word is constantly. And that's something happening over and over again. And it's an adverb, so it's kind of describing a verb. So a verb is an action word, remember? So we might say constantly talking or constantly running or constantly working. So it's describing a verb. And so constantly is when something happens over and over. And so I chose this picture of the arrows because it's kind of like the same thing just being repeated and happening and always, always happening, sort of never stopping. So a sentence might be, my little brother is constantly borrowing my toys just always doing it and one of my friends is constantly talking he never stops okay it happens over and over it's always going that's what constantly means our final word is practical and that means capable of being put to use or used for something and it's an adjective so it's a describing word so it's describing something else. And I've put a picture of tools here because they are capable of being put to use. So you can use them for something. So when you think of something being practical, think of how it can be used. So 
so a way we might use it in a sentence is I might say, I like to receive practical presents that I can use. I like to receive presents that I can put to use, not just look at maybe. Or another sentence might be, my big sister gives me practical advice for how to get my schoolwork done. She gives me advice that I can use. It's capable of being put to use, okay? So now your turn. You should have five spaces left in your vocab journal for the five last words for this. So as usual, put the word in the middle. Tremble is our example here. Then you are going to write in the definition. means to shake uncontrollably. And you are going to write a sentence. You can use my sentence or your own sentence using the word tremble to help you remember what it means. So remember today you don't have to turn anything in. Today you are just completing your own pages in the vocabulary journal. And remember, the more you write these words, the more you are familiar with them, the more you will use them in your writing and your reading and your speaking, the more you understand them when you read them and when you hear them. And you also want to be able to write them in our spelling test at the end of the week. So make sure that you take some time and write them out a few times so that you can um, be ready to go at the end of the week. Okay, have fun.